Um, hey, Brittany. Um, yeah, I'm glad you chose this one. This is really a fun one. Let's see what you have here, this chicken. You know, since the chicken is so big, you might want to get a bigger image. Um, I don't know if you had a chance to look at um, this video that I posted here. It talks about how to get large images. Just because in relation to the other images, usually this means this is going to be lower resolution. Um, this one too will definitely be lower resolution. Um, this is probably going to be fine. This might be, even though I think that you're using, um, now this one should be pretty good. Usually when you zoom in at a good level and it's still somewhat, you know, clear. Um, whoops. No, it won't go any smaller. Um, I'm not sure what these are. Sesame seeds? Oh, cool. Um, this probably needs to be bigger, and so does this. Um, you know, the, the other thing, um, and, you know, I've been um, making this point to most this, most everyone today. Um, you might want to think of more color. I mean, this is going to be great color, but you might want to think in your caricature of more vegetables that relate to your... I mean, it's making me hungry, actually, and I love onion rings, too. Jeez. Um, you might want to think of more... Um, you know, more colorful objects as well. So, you know, think of tomatoes, lettuce, where else can you put those around in the caricature that'll give it color, a little bit of color? Um, you know, you could also put like ketchup on the, um, you know, ketchup or something or mustard or whatever. That's also really colorful. This might need to be bigger. Um, and the fry, yeah, like I already said, I think you're probably going to have to get it I mean, I don't know. It's, if it's pretty small, this this could work though too. So, and this will give you some good experience masking. Because next week we're going to be masking um, the background out in layer masks. So, um, um, so anyway, um, the chicken looks really fun. You know, and I've been also mentioning to everybody this. You know, this idea of really thinking about using two point perspective. You know, having um, you know showing a couple different sides of your objects. I mean, you can you could do it with yours too. So you get more of a sense of, of um, you know, volume and solidity, and then you can use perspective with this wheel in the back, you know, being further away. But overall, um, I mean, I think that this is going to be really fun to to um, you know um, to watch come together. But just make sure to get those high um, high quality images before you spend all that time masking, especially for this one. It's so central. God, that's making me really hungry. Shoot. Um, Okay, so anyway, um, yeah, looks good.